Hi there. I want to demonstrate something. Have an alternate way, which is not an original idea. Others are doing it on the web, where this magnet, which it becomes a stator, spins. But I think the ones on the web where they're spinning, I don't have a lot of trust in those. Um, I'm not going to get into why. But the principle is indeed sound. So here's the deal. When this is in traction mode, as you can see, it will pull the wheel. Okay? I'll show you the whole wheel there. There you go. See? Ooh! Gotta be careful, or otherwise it grabs my magnet real easy. Okay, so as you can see, it's in attraction mode. So if I flip this over the other way, it's now in repulsion. So, we've had to come around. Here we go. See? Okay, now watch this. This is what I'm thinking. I'm going to flip this back around into attraction mode. Attraction mode is when the round magnet on top is facing the camera. Okay? Now, let me, I'm going to have to get this wheel spinning first. It's a lot easier to demonstrate this. Okay, now watch this. And then we flip it around. Oops, I'm off camera. Traction mode, repulsion mode. Let me re-grab this magnet. It's hard to do it this way. Okay, attraction mode. And then repulsion mode. Attraction mode, repulsion mode. Attraction mode, repulsion mode. Attraction mode, flip it to repulsion mode. So what I'm thinking here, and it's getting faster and faster. What I'm thinking is, it's using the torque. The torque that's generated in the spokes um, here at the lower point, because there's a lot more leverage down here under the laws of leverage. And use this to trigger a means, use this energy generated down here, this stored down here on the bottom of the wheel, it's being created, to flip this magnet here, to turn it. Um, so each time at this exact point, because just like timing on an old-fashioned combustion engine, this spoke aligns, say, to this stator right here. So I can use these spokes to create a precise time when to flip this magnet and when to flip it back after the repulsion mode comes to an end, which is right here. So at this point, it would flip back to attraction mode. And then at this point here, it's now in attraction mode. So then as it passes, it'll hit this spoke. I guess this actually doesn't make any difference which one of these we do, as long as we do it before the last stator. So I guess it would be done, say, like here, and it would be flipped over to a repulsion mode. And then, of course, when it gets back to here, it would flip back over to attraction mode. I guess here, just before it gets too close. So, that's what I'm thinking. But this is this gets a little complicated to do all of this. So, I just want to throw this out there for those of you who are a lot savvier than me at making this kind of stuff. I don't have a shop anymore. I don't even have a metal shop or a wood shop. I have, still have a lot of the equipment, but it's all torn down because I'm about ready to move into a new place where I will not be able to set that up anytime soon. And then I'll be building my new place and I'll have a specialized shop dedicated to doing this kind of work. But we're looking at 18 months down the road. So I'm just sharing these ideas in real time as, as, as these ideas come across to me. I have another really cool idea thanks to a, a gentleman. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. Petro or something rather. And I'm sorry if you're watching my video and I don't remember your name correctly. Because I'm making this video on the fly. So... It was about the uh, spacing these stators further, um, I'm sorry, spacing the armature magnets further apart. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move them back up to here, and I'm going to space them further apart. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a stator here and a stator here that will alternate which one of these is being activated. So it will revert back to my original principle called the leapfrogging effect. So let me do that next here. And again, I'm very limited on time. Today just have to happen, have a little bit more time to work with. Um, okay, so let me sign off here and let me get this new setup done. And then I'll come back.